Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So let us continue solving problems. Situation 9. The rigid bar ACB is supported by an elastic circular strut BC having an outer diameter of 380 mm and inner diameter of 365 mm. The strut is made of steel with a modulus of elasticity of 200 gigapascal. Point load P is applied at B. So for the first question, calculate the normal stress in the circular strut DC. So first, we have to provide the free body diagram for each bars ACD and CD. As you can see, there is a pin support at A, so we will provide two components of reaction, AY and AX. At C, we have an internal pin at C, so basically we will also provide two components of reaction. Take note that all the directions of the reactions are just an assumption, so later on, we can confirm if we have a correct assumption or not. Suppose that we want to solve for the reaction at C, so we should sum moments about point A. Summation of moment about A equals zero. So let's say our sign convention is positive counterclockwise. So we have Cy times moment arm of Cy is 1.2. And then... The moment of P about point A, we have P times 1.2 plus 1.5. Because as you can see, the distances are 1.2 meters from A to C and 1.5 meters from C to B. Moments of AY, AX, and CX will be cancelled since the line of actions of these forces are passing through A. So that is why they will be cancelled. So we now have our equation. We have the value of P, which is 22 kilonewton. Therefore, we can now solve for Cy. So we substitute the value of 22 in our equation, and then we can now solve for Cy. We have Cy equals 49.5 kilonewton. We can also solve for A, but take note that we are we want to solve the normal stress in the circular strut DC. So therefore, we have to determine the normal force that is being developed for strut CD. So we will now analyze strut CD. We should also draw the free body diagram of strut CD. Previously, we have solved the value of CY and it is positive, meaning we have the correct assumption of CY. So now that we are analyzing strut CD, instead of upward force, so we should use the opposite direction of that force. If CY is upward in the FBD of ACB, Cy will now be downward in the FBD of strut CD. So this is 49.5 kilonewton. Previously, the assumed direction of Cx is to the left. When we are analyzing strut CD, it should be to the right. We have a pin support at D, so therefore we should write the component of the reaction at that point. We can now solve for Cx. Let's say we sum moment about point D. Take note of the distances. The vertical distance from C to D is 0.9 and then the horizontal distance is 1.2 meters. Okay, so if we sum moments about point D equals zero, Negative Cx times 0 0.9 minus 49.5 49.5 49.5 49.5 49.5 49.5 49.5 49.5 49.5 49.5 
49.5 times 1.2 equals 0. And we can solve for the value of Vx, and that is, that is negative 66 kilonewton. So it is negative, it just means that we have used the wrong direction of C sub X. So if we're going to correct the direction of C sub X, so C sub X must be to the left. If we are analyzing CD, and then in analyzing of FBD of ACB, CX should be to the right. So this is now the corrected direction. Also, that would give us an idea that the corrected direction of the x is also to the right. Notice, strut CD is a two-force member. In order to get the normal force acting in strut CD, we need to get the resultant of the force components. Either dx and dy, or cx and dy. If we're going to sum forces along x, Notice that Cx will be equal to Dx. So Dx equals Tx. Also, if we will sum forces along the vertical, D sub y is also equal to C sub y. We can now determine the resultant force in strat CD. That is square root of Tx squared plus Py squared or square root of dx squared plus dy squared. So let us solve. RCD is square root of 66 squared plus py, which is 49.5 squared. Therefore, the normal force in strat CD is that is 82.5 kilonewton. We can now determine the normal stress. That is simply, that is the force divided by the area of strut CD. So that is 82.5 kilonewton. We multiply this by 1000 so that the units will be in newton. And then the cross section of strut CD is a circular tube because it has an outer diameter and inner diameter. In determining its area, we just need to subtract the areas of the two circles. Pi over 4 times 380 squared minus 365 squared. The normal stress in strat CD is... Nine point three nine nine seven five five zero two eight megapascals. That is letter A.